Hello, my friend. Today I would like to show you how to knit this diamond slip stitch. Very beautiful stitch because many friends say they are very interested with this stitch. So I would like to take some time to demonstrate this diamond stitch. Okay, let me take a close look. Let us take a close look on these stitch details. In the brain, I use the rib stitch, knit two, pull two, knit two, pull two, rib stitch. And the body of the hat, this is the pattern stitch, we call the diamond stitch. So you can see this diamond, beautiful diamond, right? And, uh, and the, the loom I use is brand Alimelt, yellow round loom, 82 packs. Also, I have made another, another diamond stitch head on the green round loom. Let me show it. Okay, this one. Also use this diamond stitch, also use the Brand animal 72 packs green run loom. The reason I tried on these two sides of a run loom because you know the size of our head is different. So it depends on you if your head is small, you can try it on this green one, and if your head is bigger and you can try this yellow one. Okay, now I would like to explain the diamond stitch clearly before I show how to knit it on the, on the knitting loom. Okay, so we can see, we can see this ring of head, rib stitch, and uh, this is the start of two rows of Pearl stitch, two rows of pearl stitch, and then we can see diamond, diamond, and uh, between after this row of diamond, after this diamond, and there uh, have two rows of two rows of pearl stitch, and then another part, another section of diamond, so. You can see this diamond, this diamond space is between is between these two between between these two diamonds. So I will separate separate this this knitting process into three part into three part. Firstly, I will show you how to knit this knit this space. How to knit this space. And then this is a simple pro stitch, and then this is section of diamond stitch. Okay, that's the beginning. Now I'm holding the green yellow a uh, green loom, green round loom, seventy two packs, and uh, seventy two packs I do. Divided these 72 packs into nine sets. Into nine sets. That means each set have eight packs. Each set have eight packs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight as one set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight as another set. And uh, I divide this entire round loom into nine sets, so totally equal to 72 sets. The size of this diamond depends on the rows, how many rows you needed, also the set of packs, how many you needed. So if you want a big a bigger diamond, just need more row, just needed more rows and then needed a or more packs on each set. You can have right you can have each set of eight packs, each set of 
six packs or each set of 10 packs. So it depends on how many packs on your run on your room. If your pack if you have packs 19, so you can divide into nine set and then each set have 10 packs. So it depends. Anyway, let's begin. So after after divided these packs into nine sets and each pack have eight packs. Firstly, slip remember slip the first pack and the last pack. Slip the first pack and the last pack. So that means for this set, I slip this is the last pack. So I slip this pack and uh, this pack. Slip just need. Okay, slip the last pack and slip the first pack of new set. Slip the last pack and slip the new, uh, slip the first pack. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, slip the last pack and slip the new, the first pack. So we sleep totally we sleep two. Same way sleep last pack, sleep the first pack, and we sleep two pack. Slip the last pack and slip the first. We totally slip two packs. And we need a six pack. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, keep going on. Slip first, uh, slip last and slip the first. And we need six packs of each set we need six packs of each set slip two packs needed six packs Slip last pack and slip the first pack. We slip totally two packs and then the needed six packs of each set. Because I divided this 72 packs room into nine sets and each set have eight packs. So now last pack, first pack. Last pack. You can see I have already marked each set with this stitch mark. And now that I just finished one round. We can also call the one road. And then now we continue the second road. Slip last pack and slip the first pack. 
keep going on. Need the first pack. I need the six pack in each set. Okay, slip the last and the slip the first. Slip the last and the slip the first. Slip two packs and knitted six pack. Okay. We just finish another round, another row. Okay, just needed like I just like what I have needed. Slip two packs, the first pack and the last pack. Slip two packs and the need to each row round again and again. After you need six rows or eight rows. Or ten rows. It depends on the size. It depends on the size, on this size of garment. How many rows you needed, and how many packs of each set. It is affects the size of this garment. So, in order to short video time, and I needed several rows. I needed several rows, several rows uh in advance. So now I just finish seven rows. I just finished seven. How to count the rows? So you can see from this slip loop, you can see the close clear from this sit this slip loop. One row, one row, two row, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, I just done the seven rows. This is the slip stitch loops. Slip stitch loops. Okay, now I am now the show. I am now the showing how this connection part did. I am now showing how to do this connection part. How to do this connection part. Now we are now doing the connection part. So I have back this. Do not do not need those again. Okay. So we are not doing the connection part. We need to waste this help cross the hook. Firstly, put this cross hook through through these loops. Through all these loops, through all these loops, and uh, and uh, grab grab your knitting yarn, grab your walking yarn through 
through this. Grab your working yarn through this and put put it on this pack. On the put it on the first on the first slip on the first slip pack and uh, pull a walking yarn in the front of the second slip pack knitted and uh, knitted then we pull the next six pack of this first set okay i will demonstrate again slowly Okay, now we reach to another set of connection part. We are now to learn another section of. We are now to reach to put your crochet hook through through all those all loops all slip loops and put. Your walking yarn, and then grab your grab your walking yarn and create a new loop. Create a new loop, and then put on this first this first slip stitch, this first slip stitch, and then. Pull the walking yarn in front of the second slip stitch. Pull over. Okay. Now we pull the rest of this six stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we can to another set of another set of these these loops. Pull your crochet hook through all loops and put your walking yarn. Grab your walking yarn through these loops and put the create this new create pack uh, this new create loops. Put these new create loops on the first slip pack and put your walking yarn in front of the second slip pack and knit over and then pull the next six one two three four five six
You can not we we reach to the vast set of loops to grab the grab your walking yarn and pull through to put it put this new loop on the first slip pack and pull the walking yarn in the second slip pack needlework and then pull the following packs Okay, we just finish. We just finish the the first part, the first section part. This part, this part, this part of diamond. This part of diamond. And then next is two two rows of pearl stitches. Two rows of distinguished pearl stitch. To distinguish between this part of diamond and uh, this part of diamond, we just finish the first section. The next section is the two rows of pearl stitch. Two rows of pearl stitch. Just pull around, pull around. Just pull. Do two pearls of. To do two rows of pearl stitches, and uh, please pause your video, and then we will get back to finish these two rows of simple pearl stitches. Okay, now let's continue. Uh, just we finish the first part of diamond. And the middle pearl stitch, which has two rows. Now let's get to the third part, the the third section. This section of diamond. Let me show details. You can see this. This is the first sec first section which I just demonstrate. And uh, this is the second, the middle part, two rows of pearl stitches. And the third section, third section, you can see in this third section, it's in the middle. You can see it's in the middle, between middle. Just, I mean, uh, separate this diamond into two parts. This part, this half part in this side, and this this half part in this side. This diamond is between these two diamonds. So this is totally different. That's why I call this the third section of diamond. I am now show you how to knit this third section. Okay. So uh, let's back to this green run long. And uh, just now we divide this 72 to 9 sets, 72 to 9 sets. This is a mess, this is a mess thing. 72 packs divided to, divided to 9 sets and uh, equals 8 packs, 8 packs each set. A packs each set. Okay, so now the if if I want to separate, if I want to separate, I mean the between this diamond, if I want to this separate this diamond into two parts, that means this part has have 
three packs and this part has three packs because you know we sleep the first pack and the last pack so we only needed six pack we only needed needed six packs and uh, divide uh, separate uh, separate two parts so each part has three packs. Okay, let me show. So now the way we need this first three packs. One, two, three. One, two, three. We slip the four, the two packs. Slip these two packs. And now, like before, we need the six packs. One, two, three, four, five, six, and now that we slip two. Okay, let's back again. Knit three packs, one, two, three, and the slip two, and the next knit the next six packs. One, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then slip two. You can back to check. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. This six pack. One, two, three, four, five, six. Slip two. Slip the first and slip the last. Just like the before. Two, three, four, five, six, and slip two. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a slip two. One, two, three, four, five, six, 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 slip two, and slip this two, knit this three. One, two, three, okay. Listen and look closely. One, two, three, plus this knitted three packs. It's totally six packs. One, two, three. These six packs divide to parts. This half three packs and this half three packs. It consists of six packs. That's how it looks like. That is why I said between these two diamonds. This diamond between these two and divided into two parts, three packs and three packs. And now we just finish one row. The next row continue. Need the three packs, the first three packs, and then slip two, need six packs. Two. Three, four, five, six. Okay, slip two packs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Slip two. Two, three, four, five, six. 
two, three, four, five, six, and slip two, two, three, four, five, six, slip two, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay, slip to one, two, three, four, five, six, slip to one, two, three, four, five, six, slip two, one, two, three, four, five, six, slip two, and knit last three pack. Knit last three packs. Sorry. Knit. Okay, so you can see these three packs and these three plus these three packs, totally six packs. So keep going. We keep going, needed uh, several several rows, maybe uh, like just we done in the first section, seven rows. You can count through, through these loops. One, two, you keep around, you keep needed around the whole run for seven times. And uh, to let this, to let this loop have seven loops. And then uh, we did a connection, we did a connection part like I have just done on the first, on this first part, connection. So after need, after the rows is enough, just connection like the first section. Okay, so what I have demonstrated is 72 packs. So what if, what if you are holding uh, 82 packs? What if you are holding 82 packs? How to divide it into, how many sets in you have to divide it? Okay, this is a math problem. 82 packs, and we divide into 10 sets. The first nine sets, eight packs, multiple nine sets plus 10 packs multiple one set and the equal 82 packs. That means these nine sets, each set has eight packs and then this final one set has 10 packs. So totally equal to 82 packs. Okay, so let me repeat again to let you understand more clearly. This A means each set has A packs and uh, 9 sets, multiple 9 sets, plus the final set which has 10 packs. So totally equal to 82 packs. Now I would like to demonstrate, just do a simple demonstrate. I would like to demonstrate the, the first row, how uh, the row, the first row of this first section. And slip like slip first tag, and then need it one, two, three, four, five, six. Slip the last and slip the first. So slip a total two packs. Two, 
two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I forgot to to explain again. I already set the marks. So you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Apex, one set. Apex, one set. Apex, one set. And uh, around this whole long, came to the final set. Came to the final set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This final set has 10 packs. So totally has 82 packs. So we can clearly understand that this, this set of diamond, this set of diamond will be little smaller than this final. So it doesn't matter. So let's keep going. Slip of last and slip of first. Need six packs. Slip first, slip last. Oh, slip the last and slip the first. And slip the last, slip the first. Two, three, four. Five, six, slither first, a uh, slither last, and a slither first. One, two, three, four, five, six, slip two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Slip two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Slip two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, slip two. So now we can to the final set. Slip two. We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So remember this final set we need this apex. Okay, now we slip the first, I slip the last and slip the first. We keep going on the next row. Two, three, four, five. We, sorry, I count the wrong number. Let's bet again. Okay, so slip the last, slip, slip the first, and then we need one, two, three, four, five, six, and then slip two packs. Keep going again. Need just need a several rows as you require. Maybe six or maybe seven. It depends. Now that is how to knit the first section, and the second section is very simple. The pro. The pro stitch, right? Two rows of pro stitch. So now the third section, this section. So how to divide it this? How to divide this? Let me, this is the middle part. How to divide this? If you are, you are not 82 packs. I am now the demonstrate again. I am now demonstrate. Okay, for example, we are now in the Third section. We're now in the third section. 
we just simply, we just simply, one, two, three, needless, needless three packs, one, two, three, okay, slip two packs, and then knit six, one, two, three, four, five, six, slip two. I am now demonstrate the third section. Two, three, four, five, six, slip two, one, 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 two, and three, four, five, six, slip two, one, two, 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 three, four, five. Okay. So in this in this final part, I mean, in this final set, the third section, it divided into this side has three packs, and this side has five packs, and totally eight packs, totally eight packs, this part, this, this eight packs, is this, this space, this diamond space, and this diamond space between this. This is the third section. This is third section. So I am now to simply demonstrate how to divide the packs in these two sections if you are holding 82 packs. Okay, so now that you might ask me, people might ask me about the stitching mark. Yes. The happy, uh, the lucky thing is, uh, if you holding a uh, alimator knitting them, they will send additional this stitching mark and additional looming hook, uh, looming hook and also the measure cable. So I think this is pretty good. So anyway, hopefully you can enjoy my video and uh, learn something from it. Thank you.